Space is a fascinating place. It's impossible for our finite minds to grasp the vastness of space, but it's fun to imagine the possibilities out there. Our sun is 96 million miles from Earth. Just to give you a baseline, the Earth has a circumference of about 25,000 miles. You'd have to fly around the Earth over 3,800 times to reach the same distance of the sun. That's pretty dang far. But how far away is the next closest star besides our own sun? Here is where things get real crazy. The next closest star is part of a cluster of three stars called Alpha Centauri. The faintest of the three, called Proxima Centauri, is calculated to be 4.24 light years away. Light is the fastest moving stuff in the universe. It travels at 186,000 miles per second. That's incredibly fast. If you could travel at the speed of light, you would be able to circle the Earth's equator about seven and a half times in one second. A light second is the distance light travels in one second, or 7.5 times the distance around Earth's equator. So how far is a light year? Multiply the number of seconds in one year by the number of miles that light travels in one second, and there you have it, one light year. It's about 5.88 trillion miles. That puts the next closest star in Alpha Centauri about 25 trillion miles away. Trillion, people. And that's the next closest. Now imagine all the billions of stars, galaxies, and planets out there, and try to wrap your brain around that one. Although 25 trillion miles seems unreachable, there are scientists working on sending insect-sized probes to Alpha Centauri that can travel around 20% of the speed of light. The nanoprobes would take only 20 years to get to Alpha Centauri, at least the ones that survive the journey. As each cruises through the system, a tiny camera, an atmosphere analyzer will take pictures and collect data on any planets out there. Then it would transmit the data 4.4 light years back to Earth using a compact laser. The total mass of each probe including power supply, cameras, sensors, processors, fine navigation, thrusters, and that amazing transmitter, is supposed to be just a few grams, about the size of a small pill. The company working on the project, called Breakthrough Starshot, estimates this project would cost upwards of $10 billion to complete. Is that price worth it to possibly discover other living creatures on planets outside our solar system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Join me next Wednesday for more interesting learn how videos. I've got a ton of other cool videos for you to watch on my channel. And make sure you take a peek at the description box below for giveaways, links, and more info. Thanks for watching, I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How, we'll see you in the next video.